Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make that cool effect you see in the thumbnail of this video. Uh, let's jump right into it. First off, let's grab our type tool and write our text. So basically what we want to do is go to filter, blur, gallery, iris blur, convert to smart object. What this is basically going to do is it's going to blur everything that is outside of this shape. So you can edit the your circle or oval right here. I'm going to make it pretty small. and I'm going to place it on the O. Make it even smaller. This is the blur, how long the blur is. So if I pull these in, it's going to blur part of my O as well. If I pull these out and make them close to the border, it's not. And lastly, you have this, which is the amount of blur. So as you can see now, it's not very blurry, but if I, I can add more. Now we can make this bigger, give it like more room to blur. Kind of like this. Um, the cool thing about this is you can basically add stack one blur on top of the other. So you can also add a field blur. Just click to add more blur dots. For example, I'm going to put a blur dot on my O and put it on zero. And then on these ones on the corner, I'm going to add more blur. Just to give it an, this, like sort of like an irregular blur effect, which I think is really cool. All right, I think this looks cool. So I'm going to press OK here on the top. And the last thing I like to do is go to the Adjustments tab, click on the Gradient Map. Click on this slider and use a gradient map. Now these are all my presets. Um, I leave the link in the description below. There's some free packs and some premium ones. And this is a new pack that I'm working on. But you can basically use gradient maps and look at how cool this is. Press OK when you're happy with it. You get this really cool out of focus effect, but the O is in focus. Um, what I'm going to do now is to make it even a little crazier, I'm going to Command J to duplicate this. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. And I'm going to choose Spin. I'm going to make that less. Press OK. And it basically started spinning it. Um, the cool thing about it being a smart object is that it applies smart filters. And if I ever want to change something, maybe I want more radio blur, I can just double click here, add more, press OK, and that's it. Um, I really feel like this is a really cool way, a non destructive way to work. Um, I then convert to smart object, add some noise. So go to filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to add about maybe 10. And finally, I like to usually add um, some textures to it. Some film and grain textures. And then change the blending mode so that it affects the background 
then I'm gonna lower the opacity and lastly I also like to add um, plastic textures so let me grab one real quick Just gives it that really cool effect i feel like and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial feel free to comment like and subscribe um, i post two or three times a week um, and yeah that's it have an awesome weekend bye